Did you order an Arduino Nano Every and then realize that you have to solder on those metal pins that go into the breadboard? In this video, we'll walk through how to solder an Arduino Nano Every. Specifically, we'll go through everything that you're going to need before you get started. We'll talk about a couple tips and tricks through the way. And we'll also give a demo of soldering this board together. Stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this. I ordered a three pack of the Arduino Nano Every. It's a newer style Arduino board. And when I opened up one of the boxes, I realized I was going to have to do some soldering because out came two little rows of these metal pins held together by some type of plastic. These are called header pins. These header pins are what make electrical contact with different components on the circuit board. And they allow you to use a solderless breadboard so that you can connect other electrical components to the Arduino Nano Every. Now you might be like, why the heck don't these things come already soldered on anyway? Are those Arduino people super lazy? What's the deal? Well, the reason is because this style header pin actually goes through the circuit board. They are called through hole components, and it takes a real human being to solder them on, which costs extra money during production. Unlike the other components on your Arduino Nano Every, which can be soldered on using a machine. Those are surface mount components. So since Arduino figures that only cool people with soldering irons buy Arduinos anyway, hey, let's just make this a little cheaper. So here's what you're gonna need to solder your Arduino Nano Every. A soldering iron, solder, I prefer rosin core, a wet sponge or a brass wire coils to clean the tip of your soldering iron, and ideally a breadboard. Although you can get by if you don't have one, but it's not gonna be as easy. And optionally, a deep learning GPU optimized for cat image recognition models. Check out the description for a link to all this stuff. So let's go ahead and get this thing soldered up. The first thing I'm going to do is get my soldering iron turned on. I have one where I can adjust the temperature. And usually I'll set it around 250 to 260 depending on what I'm doing. If you have a more rinky ding kind of soldering iron, it may not have an adjustable temperature. No big deal, I'm sure it'll still work fine. While the soldering iron is heating up, you can set the pin headers into the breadboard. The long side of the pins go into the breadboard and the short side sticks up. I started at the end of the breadboard with the pins to make sure that I had both headers started at the same place. One header is gonna be spaced a little bit further from the center than the other. You'll wanna make sure that the plastic that holds all those pins together is tight against the breadboard on both sides. You don't want it to be uneven or anything like that. Now you can take your Arduino Nano Every and set it on top of the header pins. Now here's an important note. There are mounting holes at the corners of the Arduino Nano. You don't wanna accidentally set the circuit board so that those mounting holes have a pin through them. You want the header pins to fill those shiny crescent edged holes on the edge of the circuit board. Now we're ready to go ahead and solder on the pin headers. The first thing I do is clean the soldering iron tip. Then I tin the soldering iron tip by applying a little bit of solder to the hot tip. Next, I hold the soldering iron tip to the junction of the pin header and the pad. The pad is the shiny metal thing with the hole going through it. I'll hold the soldering iron tip here for one second. Since this is an Arduino, I usually count in Italian. Uno. The idea is that when we apply the solder to this hot junction, the solder will melt and flow into this joint, making a strong solder connection. You want the solder to be applied under the tip, close to the pad, and next to the pin. You don't really need much solder at all, like one to three millimeters of solder is plenty. It takes all about one second to melt that much solder. As a note of caution, you might think that breathing in solder smoke helps you think more clearly, but this is not true. You should not breathe in solder smoke. So once the solder is melted, remove the solder, but keep the soldering iron on the pad for about one more second to allow the solder to completely flow into the solder joint. Then remove the soldering iron. Before I solder on another pin, I like to make sure the circuit board is still sitting evenly on the pin headers. 
Then all you do is repeat that for the other pins. And that's it. So let's go over these soldering steps real quick one more time. Uno. Heat up the pad and pin header with your soldering iron tip. Due. Apply the solder to the junction for one second while it melts and then remove the solder. Tre. Let the soldering iron tip loiter for one more second to allow the solder to flow into the joint. Now, if you don't solder often, or you try to solder while intoxicated, or maybe you're something like me and you just make mistakes from time to time, you could get in a situation where two of the pins get soldered together. This is bad, and you'll want to use a warm soldering iron to try to remove that excess solder from between the two pins. That is, assuming you don't have a solder sucker or something like that. Well, hey, I hope this was helpful. Now that your Arduino Nano Every is all soldered up, you can go build some cool things with Arduino. If you're learning how to program and use Arduino for prototyping your projects, make sure to check out Programming Electronics Academy. We have in-depth video courses that cover everything from using serial communication to building wireless IoT devices. You can learn more at ProgrammingElectronics.com. Thanks, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.